parking lot right now at 299 Queen Street West. Take a look at what's going on. This is for all the cricket fans out there, and I know there are so many of you. We are talking to the Mayor's Youth Cricket Team as well as the Toronto Police Cricket Club. They're actually going to be facing off against one another in a special match coming up on Tuesday. We're going to be telling you all about it. Plus, we're going to be trying our hand at cricket, of course. That's coming up. Make sure you stay tuned. You're watching CP24 Breakfast. We'll be right back. Thank you so much, George. Uh, beautiful start to the day out here. Uh, maybe this is the time of day you want to get the uh, exercise out of the way or maybe some fun outdoor activities. I've never actually held a cricket bat before, <laughs> apparently. Thank you very much. Uh, but uh, we're going to get a lesson in just a few seconds as Pooja talks to uh, a really talented cricket team and an organization uh, that's having a competition coming up with the Toronto Police, I believe. Yes. Uh, okay, so we'll get to that in a second. We're here in our parking lot, 299 Queen Street West, and we're playing cricket. This is for all of the cricket fans out there, and there are so many of them. Uh, we have Constable Amir Butt joining us from Toronto Police, and we have Kurt, who is the captain of the Mayor's Youth Cricket Team, joining us as well. Thanks for being here, guys. Pleasure. And bringing the boys behind us, too. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about cricket first and foremost. For people who are not familiar, I mean, this is huge. My dad's a huge cricket fan. He'll wake up literally at like four in the morning to watch some of the matches. Uh, why is cricket such a big thing, especially in Canada? Um, I think what part of it is, is this, for people that don't know what cricket is, I think they could kind of see it as the hockey for Indians or guys in the West Indies, South Africa, England, all around the world. It's just something that they love doing, something they love playing, and something they love watching. And you're getting involved now because uh, what's going to happen with your team, the youth cricket team, is you're going to be going to Trinidad and Tobago. And Toronto Police wanted to help out by basically having a friendly match with them on Tuesday. Tell me more about that. That's for sure. It is friendly, but it's going to be competitive because these boys seem to be really good. <laughs> uh, but talking about um, uh, with regard to the cricket, and involving the youth as per our service priority it's very important for us to engage the community there's nothing better than engaging the community through our youth uh, because they are our future we want them to be uh, more comfortable around us and through the sports they we could have talk about and we could teach a few life skills like leadership discipline respect and cricket um, talks uh, basically teaches all of that um, as far as this game is concerned their team is um, um, moving and uh, going to Trinidad uh, in August but before that the organizers wanted us to have a friendly game with them which we will be uh, uh, doing on the 19th and um, hopefully it's gonna be a good game so can people come and watch that of course by all means it's gonna be held at uh, Toronto Cricket and Curling Club which is on Wilson and Avenue I'm sure uh, Google uh, will uh, can give the address but yeah people are more than welcome to come and join us I hear it's a state-of-the-art faci uh, facility as well and uh, I should also mention that this is the first First time the mayor's youth cricket team is actually going to be competing together on Tuesday, yeah. right, Kurt? Yeah. So you guys haven't actually been in a competition yet? No, really, just a couple of practice sessions. That was it. Oh wow. Okay. Well, I wish you luck then on Tuesday. Not that you're going to need it, but um, while we're watching this right now, because we do want to get a bit of a lesson, let's talk a little bit about how the game of cricket actually works for people who are not familiar. Because I see Bill right now. I think he's treating it like baseball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of home runs going on. Yeah, but that's not how it works. No. Yes. So um, I every time when I like to um, uh, tell somebody about a cricketer, especially cricket, especially when they don't know much about it, I always like to relate cricket to the baseball because in North America mostly people know about uh, baseball. So unlike baseball, cricket is a 360 field. So everywhere it's a play area, and like uh, like baseball, there are two teams they square off uh, in the field. Obviously, to the aim is to score more runs and. Uh, and the other team, when they get to bat, they want to score at least one run more than uh, the other team. So that's the aim. And in that, the 11 players, they get to bat, and um, each player's score uh, is counted towards the team's overall score. So let's say in a, oh. in a game, in a, a inning, uh, if the one of the team scores uh, 100 runs, <laughs> right? the second team, when they come and they bat, they need to score 101 runs to win the game. Okay, well, I think Bill got rid of one of the balls. I, I maybe, well, maybe that was six runs right there. That would be six runs. There you, you go. Maybe it. that's what Perfect. it was. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, um, but I'm just going to go for it. Thank you so much for being here. Good luck on Tuesday. Thank you. Come out and watch them and support. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Oh. That would be a miss, right? That was nice. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. They hit the wicket. <laughs> Cricket's wicket, guys. We'll be right back.